Hi, this video is about how to create this recessed art cabinet using AI House. We're going to use ceiling design here. Double click on the wall. Set the wall thickness to 1. Okay, then draw a rectangle. The rectangle will be the cabinet. Click on it and you can resize. And then you can reposition it. To make the arc, we can use the chamfer function on the right here. Untick batch edit so that you can edit one corner at a time. Click the corner and choose outer fillet. And then you can change the radius here. Same on the other side. Okay. Now you have the arc shape already. Next, we're going to make the frame. You can use the offset here. We're going to offset 100 inward. Okay, done. Then you click on the frame area and you can change the thickness. So let's say we make it 450. Okay, but the wall is recessed, so we need to change the thickness of the wall. So let's say 420. Okay, so the frame will look like this with a 30 mm extruding. Okay, next we can add in the shelves, draw a rectangle as the shelf, and then you can change the size, and then you reposition it. Okay, and then to add more shelves and with a distance, you can right click and choose the paving continuous function. Okay, move the mouse to the direction you want to copy and then you type in the distance. Okay, let's say 300. And then you click to confirm. Alright, let's try another one with 400 distance. Just type 400. Can you click to confirm? Okay. Now, for the vertical panel, you can do the same as well. You draw a rectangle, you change the size, and then you reposition. Okay, there you have it. Next, for the door panel, you can draw the rectangle and change the thickness to 470, for example. The frame itself is 450, so when I put 470, then the door will look like extruding out from the frame a little bit. You can readjust the door so that you get the door gap effect. Okay, now we have done the structure of the cabinet. To add the lighting, 
go back to ceiling design click the inner arc shape and then you can select add strip okay free so that you can adjust the light position freely and then you find the light from section library and then you drag it out okay as you can see the light is at the outer frame area to adjust it you can just drag let's say if I drag it here okay and now we drag it inside here okay let's put it here okay done okay and then you add in the texture as usual Please give us a thumbs up if you like the video and don't forget to subscribe. Happy trying. Bye.